Hey there and happy Thursday. It is Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Thursday. <laughs> I tell you, with the weather and Christmas week and everything going on, it's like I really doubted myself there for a second. But I know we went Christmas shopping yesterday. I wanted to do a live video for you guys and um, ended up looking at the forecast and looking at our Christmas list and went, you know what, let's just um, head out early in the morning and get some things um checked off our list to get back home before the weather uh, sinks in and glad we did because it feels good to be in the house today. Um, it's really cold out there. Um, feels like 40, negative 45 I think I saw um, last I looked on my on my phone app. So hopefully you guys are snuggled in. Hi there Sharon. And so um, I'm bringing you a spicy little card today and I'm excited because it is one of the new products from the upcoming mini catalog. So raise your hand, give me a little, I got mine. If you have received, I'll show you this here, your upcoming mini catalog and celebration brochure. So I finally have heard that some of you are receiving yours in the mail. Hey there, Lisa. And so I'm going to be showing you this cute little taco card today. Um, um, hey there, Beth. Um, and that's from page 48 of the catalog. So this is going to be my card number six for December out of the eight. So let me get my camera turned around so that you can see it a little bit better here. My, oops, I forgot to. Um, here, let's see. Here we go. My iPad was in the way. All right, there we go. Here it is. Isn't that just fun and bright? You add, are you spice up my life? I think that is just so fun. And the Taco Fiesta um, was one of the first stamp sets um, that I knew I wanted. There was a list of 10 that I knew I wanted right away. <laughs> it's one of the top 10, put it that way. Um, and I can't show you on the inside as a demonstrator. We can't show you guys the inside of the catalog. Um, yet until it goes live. So I'm just referring to the outside, but it is on page 48. So you can see all the cute little guacamole, taco, soft shell, hard shell, um, the little um, uh, pinata pieces of candy. There's just so many little pieces that the more I look at this, the more I keep thinking, oh, I love it even more because there's so many little details that can make like fun backgrounds, like the little um, nacho chips, the big nacho chip, things like that. Um, so I am making my own background for you guys today with this, making like a, a simple layout and um, hopefully you'll enjoy that for a, a blustery day like today. Hey there, Kathy. Hi, Fran. So like I said, page 48 is Taco Fiesta. So here it is. And um, for those of you just joining, um, so yeah, I think it's just really cute. So there's the card that I'm going to make today. And because this is an upcoming stamp set, some of the things I'm going to add to my card are going to be things that are retiring just because I liked like how it added some color and dimension to the card. And I'm kind of copying it. Um, this is, um, let me pull it back over here. When you see these little little pieces here, um, that little symbol there. This is Erica Sirwin's um, Million Dollar Achievement stamp set. And so I think she's hit, I think this is going to be like her two million, but every time you hit a million, you get to help design a stamp set. Um, and so this is hers. So I thought, you know what, why not see what she's done with it? So that's who I'm giving credit for. Um, hers is a little bit different, but um, I just changed uh, a little bit of the layout placement and um, some of the uh, design on there too. But I just, I liked what she did. I liked the color combination. So I kind of went with that. So um, some of these pieces like the So Saffron and the Garden Green, these pieces are from the cottage. Oh, let me look here. Um, here it is. I want to make sure this is retiring um, gingham cottage um, gingham cottage designer series paper. And that's that really big, thick 48, um, 12 by 12 piece of our package of part of designer series paper, excuse me. And so that's a big one. And I loved, like I said, the yellow and the green to go with the taco fixing. So that was kind of fun. And then this little piece here is coming from the in color six by six glimmer paper. And so that's the sweet sorbet, which is also what my card base is, um, 
as well, the sweet sorbet. So that's where that's coming from there. So we've got these colors and pieces all coming together. Hi there, Sherry. So let me get started. And I'm going to be pulling out my deckled rectangle dies here. So these are all those fun dies um, that are just kind of that ripped torn look. I love it. And so lots of nice big pieces and some smaller ones too. But I'm just going to put this in. This is, um, I just cut this down on my sheet of cardstock. So this um, width is 3.75. So if you can kind of see, it fits just within that. So um, that's easier than saying maybe like the third from the largest in case like your dies are out and about and being used. Um, it'll tell you kind of which die to use. So it's just about 3.75 inches wide. Whoops, there we go. So you can see that there. Hi Arlene, good to have you on there. Thought maybe I'd have um, a bunch of people chime in. Not that that's my goal always, but just because of the weather. <laughs> so we've got that. All right. So what I'm going to do next is um, just take out some scratch paper here. And this is a photopolymer stamp set. So I'm going to get my um, my stamp and pierce mat there so that I get a good impression on here. And like I said, sweet sorbet uh, cardstock here. So I'm going to get out my sweet sorbet ink pad and just kind of set that here. And what I've done is taken a couple of the different size, large and small chili peppers, and I just put those on the same stamps, um, or the same acrylic block, excuse me. And then I'm just going to um, ink those up and just kind of rotate how I put them. And I'm making my own background then based on that. So just with some scratch paper underneath like so. It makes for a really fun hot looking background guys, right? So there we have, oops, oh shoot. Hey, that, that was okay. It didn't do anything to the card. All right, so the Sweet Sorbet ink on Sweet Sorbet cardstock. Um, so you can see that in a fun way for a background. And I think that is ready to go on my card base. I'm just going to take and set that aside and my scratch paper aside and just get some adhesive on that so then I can set that aside and go like so all right so I've got that and then next what I'm going to do I think um, is work on my taco because it's such a cute little taco and let me bring over that image here and that's this taco hi there margaret um yeah isn't this just fun fun shannon um one of my top favorites uh out of the upcoming mini catalog and i think it can be used for so many different um occasions too so i'm just going to ink that up in my um my black ink pad my memento ink pad like so and then what's also fun is that there's a cute little pair of eyes and mustache. Like who wants a mustache on my on your taco? I do. So I'm going to ink that up. How cute is that? And um, I'm going to fussy cut that after I color it in. And same with my little sombrero. So I just have this little scratch piece of basic white. So that's why it looks like it's been uh, cut on around the edges and or chewed on or whatever. So yeah, Margaret says I should make my background more often. That's what she says. And it's true. Like it's like, especially how I put two images on one stamp or excuse me, acrylic block like that. It just makes it go so much faster too. And yeah, it's just an easy thing that adds so much. All right, so I've got some yellows here um, for my coloring. Oh, I'm going to color. So I often like to just bring my camera a little bit closer so you guys can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to start with the dark So Saffron. So So Saffron is a pretty light yellow, and I'm just going to kind of go across the whole center of my taco like that. You can see I just literally scribbled like so. So that's a nice little scribble. And then I'm going to come back and do the outside with my dark um, daffodil delight, dark daffodil delight stamp and blend. So that I'm just going to go around the edges like so. And I love how the artist put those little dots there. And I always feel like whenever there's little dots that I want to color in, just a little bit heavier there in that corner. And then otherwise, I'm just going to kind of trace up and around my taco there like so. And then I'm going to get my light 
um, Daffodil Delight. And then just kind of blend both of these. So you can see they aren't even touching really. It looks pretty ratty right now. But now when I take and blend the outside to the inside of the lighter and just give it kind of a second to set, all of a sudden those colors are just kind of fun um, to see them all meld together. Um, so I've got that going there. And since I have my Daffodil Delight markers out, I'm just going to color kind of the inside of the sombrero hat like so. And then I'm going to come back with the dark daffodil and just outline my sombrero hat like that. Um, and let's finish the taco. And um, I kind of wanted to match up this green, which is garden green. We don't have blends, so I'm taking my light um, old olive. Hi there, Priscilla. Good to see you on here. Um, and I'm just going to... Uh, take and fill in the lettuce and because so little is um, sticking out here I'm not going to do lighter and darker it's just going to be the one color which is the light old olive so I've got that and then I'm going to go over to my sombrero here and just kind of fill in the top part of that design and then since my cardstock is uh, sweet sorbet, I'm going to go on the bottom side here and fill that in. Oops, I went out of the line a little bit. Not, not terrible, but more than I want to. <laughs> okay, so that's the dark, dark sweet sorbet for that. So now we've got a cute little sombrero and a fun looking taco. So now that I'm done with my coloring, I'm just going to back off on my workspace so you can see things come together a little bit more and now now's the time that I'm going to fussy cut and I thought about cutting these out ahead of time and having them um, just set so that they're ready to go but I'm like you know what I need to show you how much I love my scissors and um, I also love uh, working with people over Christmas so I can't say anything because Christmas has not happened yet but um, one of you is getting a, uh, a scissors um, from her daughter for Christmas that's all I'm gonna say um, it's just kind of so fun to see husbands and I won't even say scrambling because a lot of these people have really worked ahead of time and put thought and effort into either gift certificates or actual um, products for um, their loved ones for Christmas and I love being that person in the background and even card sets like I've put together card sets for people a lot of times I don't have a lot of time to put together extra card sets but I have done that for people um, and card sets make such a wonderful gift so if you're not even getting them from me but making your own card sets know that people love um, receiving card sets because they love having cards on hand and um, so that's that that's a really fun gift to give um, because I know those that receive them love them. And that's always fun to see um, both uh, the giver and the receiver being excited about a gift. <laughs> Hi there, Linda. Thanks for joining in. Okay, I'm just about done cutting out this fun little sombrero. And with weather like this, you know, I have I feel like I have more time to fussy cut. If it's going to be a inside, we're watching movie night tonight, then um, it's kind of a fun little relaxing thing to do is to fussy cut. Okay, so I've got those two pieces there like so. So we've got the fun looking taco and the cute little sombrero. How fun is that? So um, I don't know, like I said, I haven't seen anybody really... Um, comment but please let me know if you have received your mini your upcoming mini catalog already okay so this is eventually going to go on the card actually so i don't lose my sombrero i'm going to just take a glue dot press that into the glue dot and put that on top of my little taco guy here so how festive already does he look that's pretty fun and now i'm going to work on these little pieces here and like i said from the gingham cottage um designer series paper pack i just cut this one and a half by four inch strip there and then um you could just cut it with a scissor if you want but i'm just going to take and put this in at an odd angle kind of and cut that off and then just kind of go over there too and um put that down and cut that out so we have kind of that odd angle not a not a real big angle you can see it just hardly cut off anything but it just kind of adds to the fun and festiveness of the card to have 
things that um, don't line up perfectly. And then with the In Color Glimmer Paper and Sweet Sorbet, um, this is a four inch piece here and I'm gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna put that in my trimmer and just trim a strip. This is gonna be a straight strip, nothing um, at an angle and that's just gonna be a half inch. And then I took um, some of that gingham cottage because I'm like, okay, let's um, add some color, but kind of have something that still um, looks and pairs easily. So this is the garden green and this is a three inch strip across there. And I'm gonna do this one about three fourths inch and trim that off. So now we have these pieces here all set to assemble. So then it makes um, putting that together really quick and easy. So I'm just going to take um, my adhesive and just kind of put that across here like so and then this across like so kind of different angles a little bit um, like that and then I need to stamp my um, sentiment so I just have this little half inch strip um, of basic white you spice up my life how fun is that this could even be a cute little valentine card because that's going to be the next holiday right after christmas and i didn't even plan it you know like that sometimes i go live and go oh that would be a cute uh, valentine card <laughs> so i'm just stamping that out in basic black and just going to put a little bit of adhesive on this like so so we have all of those little layers kind of coming together in taco colors so if there's a, a color combination that you like say taco combination right here it is and um, next I'm going to pull out the in color 2022 2024 in color Baker's twine pack so if you haven't seen this in the catalog um, it's got all of these fun newer in colors and so I'm using the sweet sore base so that's why it's missing out of that package and I'm just going to to take and wrap this around here whoops it's kind of bunched up there a couple times and tie a knot I'm not really into bows um, depending on if the card really 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 needs it or not whoops my goodness okay am I gonna have to start this over I think I am <laughs> okay so let me just do that again there we go maybe and I always leave my ribbon on my spool. So some of you might be going, well, that's your first problem right there is you've got that to work with. But I always have because I always feel like it's the most efficient way to cut right off the spool. Um, and a lot of you I know uh, cut off in sections and I'm like, I'm more impressed with that because I have no idea how you would um, manage that to know how much you need. I'd be like short or way too long. <laughs> okay, so I've just wrapped it around there and then just left some of this longer. And then we're ready to put this on the card. So um, you can see how fun that's going to be and how it's going to make those cute little chili peppers in the background really pop. So let me grab some dimensionals and I'm just going to put about one, two, three, four dimensionals across the back like so. And then I can put this on kind of at an angle making sure that that doesn't go over the edge of the card and same with that so it fits in the envelope. And then I'm just going to tip over my taco here and put a couple dimensionals on that cute little taco guy. And he's just gonna sit right on top of that sentiment you spice up my life. And I'm like, oh, I almost left it just like that because of the background um, of the chili peppers and such but then i'm like okay let's if we were if we were i always say that if we were to add a little bit extra embellishment there's the fine sparkle adhesive back gems these are just three dollars guys i paid full price and loved it at seven dollars but these are retiring soon and they have this perfect kind of golden yellow color here it's an in color so um um, I think it's pale papaya, but I'm not certain. I didn't look it up ahead of time. Um, but I just thought the golden um, look of that pairs so well for um, our taco here. So I'm just going to put one of the larger um, embellishments there and then a couple of the smaller ones kind of off to the other side 
like so. So we've got those. So they add a little bit of sparkle and it just matches that card perfect, I think. So that whole front is done. And I'm just going to do a really quick and easy inside. Um, like I said, you spice up my life. This could be a fun birthday card to send to somebody because we face it, even if we're not romantically involved and want to send this as a Valentine card, there's a lot of people that spice up our life in a fun way um, just because of who they are. So I'm not going to do anything that's going to make it look like um, birthday or Valentine or anything. All I'm going to do is follow through with the theme of those chili peppers from the front. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to stamp those out on the inside so that those receiving this card from me will just have that as kind of their blank sentiment inside to do with as they want. And you know what? This could make a for a really fun um, just plain note card. And I know a lot of you love just sending out plain note cards like that. So there you have it, card number six for December. You spice up my life with a couple little chili peppers there. That's my card. Okay, for some reason, instead of flipping my card around or my camera around, you were looking at my card stock and then I accidentally hit mute too. So I must've hit mute instead of flipping my card around, but I, I hope you can hear me again um, there. So, um, so that's card number six. I'm working my way through eight of them for you. And like I said, none of these are gonna be Christmas designs. So as I work through them for the month and get them sent out to you, um, know that nothing, you know, if you get them next week, you're not gonna be disappointed that you can't use them for Christmas because none of them are for Christmas. And um, how you can get my eight cards this month is you saw my host code. I'll also post that with my still shot of the card for today. And and you can just let me know, hey, I want your eight cards. They are a cost of $25, and that includes shipping them to you or local delivery. And if you think, oh, I need to order yet, especially now that you saw some of the paper that I used today um, and some of those embellishments and think you might want to place an order yet before the end of the month, if you place a minimum $75 order or more, then you'll get my set of eight cards for free. So hope you guys have a good Christmas. I'm not sure what tomorrow with the weather. Like sometimes I just get lazy, and I think that's okay. I used to feel bad about that. I don't anymore because I do work really hard on my other days. Um, so if I have a lazy snow day, I won't be going live. But if I feel like, you know what, I just need to get out of my funk because we'll be snowed in, maybe I will go live. So either I'll go live tomorrow, but for sure, probably Tuesday next week too with card number seven for you guys. Otherwise, have a Merry Christmas if I don't see you in between. Bye-bye.